full contact karate fight, and it was a beauty, a knockout. 119 of the first round, and here with the winner of that fight is Joe Corley. Here with Robert Alvarado. Robert, we didn't even get a chance to tell the people what your record was. You were 15 wins, three losses. You had six knockouts coming into this fight. Was this the earliest time the man's ever gone out on you? Nah, yes, it's the earliest time they've gone out on me. Did you expect a knockout? What did you know about Pabon? Well, I didn't really know nothing about him. I just went out there, like my trainer said, Emilio Norvez, I just went out there to pick out my shots, and I did. And I, and I just got him out in the first round. You have an excellent training staff. You have Eddie Andahar, the former welterweight champion of the world that we'll see a little later in the ring with Bill Superfoot Wallace. You also have Emilio Narvez, the number five ranked middleweight in the world. Does that kind of training help you? Sure does. Sure helps me a lot. A real lot. What's next for you? I just hope I can get up to the world's championship. Great. Well, you're doing a great job. Congratulations on the win. Let's go back into ringside for the next bout. Okay, thank you very much. That was Joe Corley talking to the winner of the first fight. And now we will have the introduction of the fighters for our second full contact karate fight. And now, from New York, with a record of 28 wins, two losses, 15 wins by knockout, Eddie Encarnacion. His opponent, rated seventh in the world by the PKA. With 15 wins, three losses, six wins by knockout, in the red corner, Roy Kleckner. <laughs> this bout is scheduled for five rounds. Well, there you heard all the information you need. Kleckner, incidentally, with a record of 15 and three, he's won six by knockout. And Encarnacion has won 28 and lost two. He's 21 years of age. He's had a lot of experience. While the older Kleckner at 25, not nearly as many fights. There's the referee discussing in the ring exactly what will be going on at this time. Now, what is he telling? Ray Martin of Homedale, New Jersey, is telling the fighters that they should listen very carefully for his instructions to break. All their kicks should be delivered above the belt. Basically, is this kind of a get-to-know-you time pointing out who's in control. I should point out that Encarnacion's record of 28 and two is not verified by us. He fought in South America in the Dominican Republic and we do not know, we do not have verified records on him. We do on Roy Kleckner. Roy Kleckner fought just a few weeks ago for the East Coast Super Lightweight Championship, lost a very, very close decision to US Super Lightweight Champion Richard Jackson. Kleckner also, I might add, beat world super lightweight champion Cliff Thomas in about prior to Thomas winning the world title. Now, Kleckner looks like he probably started out uh, in boxing. He's got a little, a lot of good boxing technique. But in Canarcion, if his record is correct, he has had 30 fights, 15 by knockouts. He Kleckner now lives in New York City. Kleckner actually did start in karate. He had a black belt in karate before he went to boxing. This Encarnacion, I should say, looked like he has a very strong right hand. Very strong right hand. It's a five-round bout. Each fighter must throw a minimum of eight kicks in each round in this full contact fighting. If they should throw less than eight kicks, two points would be subtracted on each one of the judges' scorecards for each kick less than eight. We have minimum kick requirement counters in each corner. Good right hand exchange then. Super lightweights, 125 to 134.9 pounds. And Canarcion has Kleckner in a little bit of trouble. He's landed some good right hands. Now the point scoring is different here. They point, uh, they score on a 10 point must just as they do in boxing. With the winning fighter coming up with anything over five and the losing fighter in each round getting no less than five points per round. The man who has the, the vote of the majority of the judges is the winner. If he has two judges' votes, he's the winner. This is a regulation boxing ring. This particular ring, 20 feet. 20 feet between the ring posts gives you about 18 feet inside the ropes. Incarnacion so far giving Kleckner a little trouble. Kleckner now closing Great in, man, throwing right. some hard shots himself right. as Incarnacion moved back against the ropes. No damage done, I don't think. These That's people okay. train like uh, normal fighters do. They do the same kind of thing, road work, work on the heavy bag. Hey, what they have to do is all of the training that a boxer does, plus add all the kicks. The fighters will do what they call a thousand kick a day drill, in which after they've done all the things that a boxer has to do, they have to go and do a thousand kicks. 
Now let's take a look at this gentleman who is one of the active judges in the corner. And Joe, maybe you can explain exactly what he's doing. He's our minimum kick requirement counter. That showed that uh, one of our fighters had 11 kicks, had 11 kicks uh, during the course of the round. As he sees, he changes the cards. At the end of the round, the kicks are total. At the end of at the end of a fight, we know how many kicks a fighter has thrown, what his average is per round, and we'll try to keep you updated on how many kicks those are. So the kicks, as well as the punches landed, figure in the overall score for each round. Is that correct? That's exactly right. Oh. Incarnacion threw 12 kicks in that. Uh, Round, I'm sorry, 10 kicks in that round. Kleckner threw 12 kicks in round number one. Now, each fighter has to throw a minimum of eight kicks. If they do not, they are penalized. They have uh, two points taken off. Is that correct? That's right. Two points for each kick less than eight. Now, this Incarnacion is really coming out like a, like a house of fire this time, throwing really hard shots. Looks like he wants to try to finish the fight in this round. Oh, boy. These people really take off after each other. Going back to a point that I made with you in our introductory comments, Joe Corley, and that is there are relatively few injuries, but it would seem like there would be a lot from all the contact that we're seeing tonight. That's right. Now, of course, the fighters are very well conditioned. If, a, if the average man on the street were to be catching these same kind of blows, he'd be going down. But these fighters are well conditioned. They know how to roll with the punches. They're not landing as solid as they would on an untrained fighter. Tough young man, 25-year-old Roy Kleckner, 21-year-old Eddie Encarnacion. That was a slip then by Kleckner Encarnacion. And, of course, you see the referee make sure that he dries the gloves before they resume contact. Now, you can see the people with the cards standing on the outside of the ring here. Uh, the cards exposed to the fighters. Is that something to inform the fighters that they are on target? Well, that's, that's, the, they, uh, that's the kick counting cards showing them how many they've thrown. But the crowd thought Incarnacion was in a little trouble then. A high kick by Incarnacion. Kleckner, young man from Ardmore, Pennsylvania. And Incarnacion, who now resides in New York. This is not a championship fight. These fellows both considered challengers, Joe? That's right. Uh, Kleckner ranked number seven in the world. Incarnacion as yet unranked. In the PKA, you can't rank the fighters until you can verify the records, um, as you can well understand. Well, Incarnacion looks like he's had some experience, but I was not aware that you say he came from South America. Dominican Republic. The Dominican Republic. Well, obviously, then, this particular sport is spread that way. And that would lead credence to the thought that we had uh, tried to uh, bear forth before. That was, this is a growing sport. This is something that is picking up momentum with each and every year. And actually, the full contact karate sport itself started back in 1974. That's right, 74. Los Angeles Sports Arena was our first world championship. Roy Kleckner in that round kicked 11 times. Incarnacion also kicked 11 times in that second round. Kleckner with a total of 23 kicks at the end of two. Incarnacion with a total of 21. And again, those points totaling up kicks only, they have to figure in uh, the boxing skills as well to come up with a total score, correct? Exactly. Now, the kicks, the number of kicks don't actually uh, influence the score. It's the effectiveness of the kicks. As long as a fighter makes his eight-kick required, he's okay. The, the question then to answer is which fighter is most effective? All right, this is the third round of a five-rounder. Of course, remember, we're leading up to the, the big one, the U.S. Super Lightweight Championship between the champ Paul Vizio and the challenger, former champ Mike Bell. That'll be coming up right here on the USA Network. Incarnacion landing another good right hand as Kleckner has his back, back against the ropes. That's the big weapon for Incarnacion, is that right hand. Joe, what about low kicks? It seems that occasionally they'll come up a little low. You can't be on target all the time. Do they deduct points for that? They don't unless the referee does. He has that sole power. If the referee indicates to the kick counter that a kick was low and that uh, a one or three or five points should be taken away from the score, then it's done like that. But the judges don't. Collector doing a lot of body work right now. 
going to work inside to soften up, soften up Eddie Encarnacion. Encarnacion has taken most of those blows on the arms, though. He's got a fairly good defense. That spinning back kick caught him in the stomach in tight, not with as much power as it would have. Kleckner landing some good shots on the head, but they're not right perfectly on target. Work a lot in the kidney area when they get in close, these fellas, both with the feet and with the hands. Kleckner is very effective at working in tight, taking a step back out, and then slamming the roundhouse kick into the kidneys. Now, that doesn't look like it's hurting the fighter, but it takes its toll. As the rounds go on, you can see a fighter weakening. Joe Corley, the PKA coordinator for international events. And Joe, your first big venture right here in New York City. Yeah, this is the first time the Professional Karate Association has sanctioned about in New York City. The grassroots have been built all over the world. Now it was time to come into the Big Apple, into the big time, and bring it to the national sports media. Now, these are two-minute rounds. You can tell these fellas in excellent shape are tired because they're using the hands and the feet. As Roy Kleckner, we look into his corner and working with his seconds. Are these seconds that work with these fellas assigned for this particular evening, or does each individual fighter, as they do in boxing, have their own uh, team of seconds? Each fighter brings his own team of seconds. His trainer, his coach, is the man that's there with him. The crowd that we hear there is responding to what you see there, indicating that the fourth round is coming up. Well, they add a little bit of everything, the frills to the game. You see the young lady coming out of the ring. And the kicks have been registered. Encarnacion just did meet the minimum requirement of eight kicks in that third round. While Kleckner scored two more, he comes up with 10. So the total reads, Kleckner now 33, and Encarnacion 29. Now I've got both men scored even on my scorecard. As I say, I'll give the winner 10 points. I'll give the loser five to nine points in each round. I have First round even, Encarnacion winning the second, Kleckner winning the third. So we got a 29-29 score. Kleckner now feels like he's got Encarnacion in trouble, was trying to put him away. Boy. They've thrown away the finesse all of a sudden, and they are just hammering at one another. Got to get the minimum eight quicks per, kicks per round in. They must remember that, otherwise they will be penalized a couple of points. Good, hard, right round kick into the kidney by Encarnacion. You can see redness right around the kidney and up against the back. Oh, good left hand, oh. another good left hand by Kleckner. Encarnacion staggered a little bit. Kleckner, once he feels like he has the man in trouble, will get right on him. Encarnacion did a good thing tying up Kleckner. Had he delivered one more punch, he would have put the young man down, possibly. And out of the rings. Now, they do score points against on foul situations. There are five point, three point, and one point foul that can be uh, charged against each man. That's right. Now, that determination is made, made by the referee. Solid left hooked in by Kleckner. Looked like his uh, Encarnacion started to draw back that right hand. Encarnacion is losing a lot of the power that he started with in the first round. I don't think either one of these fellas will want to go out and do some dancing tonight, do you? Strangely enough, they will. They're in such good shape that they're always ready to party when the fights are over. Oh, boy. It's the next day yet when the bruises start to, to set in. Well, you're a better man than I am, Gunga Jane, I'll tell you. <laughs> nice axe kicked in thrown by uh, Encarnacion. Clayton moved inside it. Clayton slipped. slipped in. He missed the left hand and slipped down. Both these guys are weary right now. These are the longest two rounds in fight history as far as I'm concerned. Two-minute rounds. They exchange right hands in. I think Encarnacion had the better of it. All right, that's round number four. With one to go. Can you imagine when they fight for the world championships, they go 12 rounds. The one we see tonight for the U.S. title will go nine rounds. Talk about being in great shape. Exactly, and this is the same division that we're seeing now that Paul Vizio holds the U.S. title in. The super lightweight division. Up to 134.9 pounds from 125 pounds. We will see a light heavyweight fight later on as we get into some of the jumbo classes or move up closer to it. Light heavyweights, 170 to 183. And again, we'll remind you that the feature attraction on our card tonight, the U.S. Super Lightweight Championship with Paul Vizio versus the former champion, Mike Bell. Bell now currently rated number six in the world, and they call him the Little Giant. When you see his body, you'll know why. He's built like a small Arnold Schwarzenegger. All right, what do we have in the way of kicks in that fourth round? Kleckner with 14, Encarnacion with eight. Kleckner's pulling away his 
got 47 total. Incarnacion has 37 total. Incarnacion does not seem to have quite the stamina that Kleckner has. He's going to have to push here in this fifth and final round in order to catch up on point. Spinning back kick. And Incarnacion trying to counter and come back as Kleckner. Really dig into the body with the hands, going back to the head with the kick. That's the thing about karate. You watch the hands, and then you've got to watch the feet. The smart fighters will mix them all up. Paul Vizio, the U.S. champion in this division, our main event. You'll see just what I'm talking about. When you think of the kind of chips that are on the line when you get into the big boxing fights, the heavyweight championships, the Sugar Ray Leonard type fights, what kind of purses do these fellas fight for to take this kind of punishment? Well, at this level, in this world, uh, this position in the world rating, the, the fighters in full contact karate are making about the same thing that the boxers do. When you get up to the to the uh, really top fights, your Leonard's, your Ali's, your Holmes, the television revenues generated from those can allow greater purses. The PKA karate is on its way to those revenues. It's a growing fast sport, folks. And if you can see, if you like contact, you got to like what you're seeing here. These guys really going at one another. Oh, big right by Incarnacion that time. And he caught Kleckner in kind of a clutched position. Ooh, he delivers a short left. Kleckner really digging those body shots and comes back with a hard right hand to the head. Incarnacion with his minimum eight kicks again in this round. That could hurt him on the judges' scorecards. Kleckner has been consistently throwing many more kicks than he needed. Incredible stamina by these two young men. And they're just in there throwing a leather at each other and an occasional kick. Full contact karate from the Felt Forum at Madison Square Garden. Boy, both men exchange right hands and left hands then. Kleckner getting the best of it. Tough fight for Roy Kleckner. It's gotta be an orthodontist delight. These two young men wailing away at each other and it's all over here at the Felt Forum. Five rounds of nothing but leather and a lot of good kicking. Both men feel like they won. This could be a real close one. I've got Kleckner winning by only two points. But you never know when the scoring goes to the judges how it, one judge might see it from his different angle in the ring. If you're keeping score at ringside, I've just been informed that in that round... Let's listen. Mr. Encarnacion had seven kicks Well, there it is. It's what we had talked about. If you don't have at least eight kicks in a round, you're deducted two points as a foul. These fighters that are in the super lightweight division. This fight. That's Encarnacion, in who has just been fouled and deducted two points from his total. That's where you begin to question a record when it has 28 wins and two losses. If a man has 30 fights, there's no way that he goes out and uh, doesn't get his kicks in. There's no way that he comes in and can't get eight kicks in a round. We saw Kleckner averaged through the first four rounds had 47 kicks, so he's averaging over 11 kicks per round, and he was throwing hard kicks aimed at the kidneys. Kleckner with a record 15-3, six by KO. Encarnacion supposedly record 28-2 with 15 KOs. Kleckner now looking to get a, a world title shot at Cliff Thomas. As I say, he beat Cliff Thomas before Thomas became the champion. I think we're ready to now to go to house announcer Larry Black. We have the decision. Judge Folks scores the fight, 49-44. Judge Harris scores the fight, 50-45. And Judge Macaron scores the fight, 49-46. A unanimous decision for Roy Kleckner. Now there he is, the golden guy. Roy Kleckner from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. As he takes another step forward, the happy corner he has. That was a tough fight for him, and he shows just what kind of stamina he's got and coming from behind in the early going to win it. And we'll be back with our super foot bout. After these messages, you're watching the great New York super fights on the USA Network.